I'm back. Long time no see. I'm feeling a little weird because I haven't been on here in like a little minute. You know? So today's video is going to be a DIY about um, the hallway, the entryway painting I created for my entryway. It's, I think they're calling it textured art. And I just really think it, I thought it was beautiful. So I was like, oh no, I have to have this in my yard. So I did it myself and I did it a really cheap, the really cheap way, not the expensive way at all. Because your girl, she like affordable stuff. She like to just be like, damn, I did, she paid $100 for that and I paid $20 and it looks the same or mine's look better even. I have to admit though, the whole process of me creating that painting was very, it was not structured well because I didn't know how it was gonna turn out. So I didn't really set the camera down and say, hey, I'm gonna do this step by step. I just had got little Snapchat clips of me like doing it. It's not really, so that's why I just came on here because after I was finished, I was like, oh my God, people probably just gonna wanna know this. Like, this is really cute, actually. I I was actually seeing on YouTube a lot this textured art business, and I was like, yeah, that's my business. Let's make it my business. I went to Michael's and I got um, the package for $10 that had five canvases in it that were 16, 16 times 24 inches. I was like, that's bomb. Now, obviously I wanted my painting to be much bigger than that, but in my head I was just like, okay, I'm just gonna put them together to create a bigger painting. Um, and just like glue them together. And I was, I felt like the, when I was painting over it with the compound, that it was just like gonna make it be stuck together. Yeah, so I ended up getting that for $10. Your girl felt like she was winning. The big canvases was costing like $50, $60, more than that. And I was just like, no, no ma'am, no sir. I can finesse and I can get exactly what I want for cheaper, like what I like. Anyways, yeah, I just had stuff in my house that, you know, I was gonna need. I had, I don't know what that, this is even called, that shit that they scrape. <laughs> I would say <laughs> the scrape shit. <laughs> so yeah, you're gonna need some compound. If that's what it's called, that's what he says it's called. Yeah. And but really that's it. So here I am just starting the process, painting it. I was just like scraping the compound over the art. I didn't get to show you guys when I actually glued all four of them together, which to glue the campus, the canvases together, I use wood glue. I use wood glue because it's the only glue I had, but I think you guys can use any glue. So I would use the Gorilla Glue because Gorilla Glue out here having people here stuck. So it would probably have your painting stuck. That shit's strong. So had I knew back then, I would have been using Gorilla Glue because we're gonna get, your guys are gonna see what happened. At first I was like, mm, this is not really looking like art to me. Like, what is happening here? But I remained patient because I know I can pull stuff off. Like, I was like, no girl, you got this. You can do this. Yeah, so this is how it was lo It was looking. I was like, oh, I don't really know. It was looking a little crazy. As I was painting it, you know, it started to look better. I started to put like a lot of texture in it. I seen this girl. Tierra Walker, she put a lot of texture in her lines and I was like, okay, let me do that because I really like how hers was. So yeah, I did that and then I also, I just wanted to add um, like some details in there. So I got like some tan off-white paint and just like created those little line details that you see there. Yeah. And then I was just like, ooh. I also noticed that it was like it wasn't really looking white to me it was looking more like concrete color and then later later like an hour later I seen that it was like 
I seen it drying white and then I just was like I, I didn't think it was gonna dry white I don't know I was just really shocked to see that it was drying white I was like yes yes this is what I wanted this is good this is good let's keep drying more 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 um, the next day it broke the next day the painting I picked it up and it broke in half it broke in half my painting like I was like what the hell I just had a look in my head for my entryway and it had to be what I saw in my head so then my handyman was just like well why don't we just screw it together and I was like yeah actually if it if it will work then fine you know he just always wants to like put stuff together so I was like yeah fine if it will put my my, my painting how I originally had it that would be great so here we're just trying to figure out you know where screws is gonna go to put it back and see how it's split in two yeah we're just trying to like figure stuff out at this point and then I was just like holding it you know in place so that he can like screw it in place yeah it was just like it was really trial and error with this painting but the ending results I just love it so much like it's it's really just did it for my entryway like I love it and I feel really proud of myself and then here's how it looks in my entry super 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 duper duper super cute I really wish that I had had that I had more footage for you guys like I actually sat down and gave you like a proper 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 more detail that is just not the case honey anyways guys thanks you so much for watching this video um i hope you guys uh, it's just like i don't know why i can't talk today you don't get it are you trying to embarrass me so self are you trying to embarrass me why can't you talk today i just are you trying to embarrass me okay no I'm doing no such thing. Then get it together. Now. You got it, babe. Yeah. Now that we're getting it all the way together. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked this video and enjoyed this video, give this video a thumbs up. Comment down below. Um, you know, just comment down below anything that you want to comment. You just talk to me. You know. I like to hear your thoughts. I do. And um, yeah, I guess I'll see you guys in the next videos. So yeah, stay tuned. It takes me a while to get on here, but when I'm on here, I don't wanna get off. By any means necessary, I just don't. I got more shit to say. What do you have to say?